Hi you guys, this is Renata. Several people have been asking me if I could do more uh, TI videos. Now you guys know I slowed way down on the TI videos for a couple of different reasons. Um, one is that, you know, I just know that there's more out there than uh, talking about targeting all the time. And because I talk about it so much on my call and people who contact me and everything, I just kind of burnt out on the subject. Um, and I know that that's part of mind control to have us talking about and thinking about them all the time. However, I do want God to use me in any way that he sees fit. So for those of you who are asking for more um, TI videos, I am trying to do that. Um, the other problem I was having is that since I've been uh, doing the videos for uh, several years now, I feel like I have talked about just about every subject that I uh, have knowledge of. So if you want to keep the TI video subject matters um, coming, then please leave your questions in the comment section and I won't say your name, but I'll try to answer the questions, the ones that I think are directed towards me. Because sometimes people are just in the um, comment section uh, conversating with other people. But if I think it's something that I can answer, I will try to do a video answering it, okay? And I'll put the link, after I do the video, I'll put the link in your comments so you'll know that um, that video is to answer your question. So keep the questions coming, and I'll try to do the video since people want to uh, hear me talk about TI subject matters more. But I am also going to continue to talk about other things, too, because there's so much happening in this world, you guys, and we have to um, broaden our thinking because they want us to just stay in this little world. And so it's really important that you keep up on the current events that's happening in the world because all of that stuff affects us. And so that's one of the reasons why I started doing different type of videos, because I have a lot of interest in a lot of things. And uh, so that's why you see those other subject matters, okay? So with that being said, I was reading through some of my um, comments and I try to read them all but I don't get to respond to them all because sometimes there's a lot of comments but this one is, is um, actually an old comment and somehow I missed it but I think that uh, this is a pretty good subject and uh, something that probably um, uh, most TIs uh, may feel this way so this person says uh, Renata it's impossible to meet normal people they control everything if you go to a public place, they make sure the first person you talk to is a perp. They don't want us to talk to anyone normal. They don't want anyone to be able to say they know us and vouch for us and say we're a nice person, etc. They also don't want us to spread the word about targeted individuals. This is something the authorities want us to keep quiet more than any other conspiracy or reality. Okay. I definitely agree with um, a lot of what is said, and I can see how any targeted individual, including myself, would feel this way because we come into so many perpetrators, at least I do, and it sounds like this person does as well, um, you know, a lot of people who we may meet, we may perceive them to be uh, normal, quote unquote normal, whatever normal is. Um, but then before you know it, they have turned on us or they have betrayed us. And the next thing you know, uh, we put them in the in the perp category. So we've learned not to trust, you know, and I think most TIs will tell you that you just don't know who to trust. So I understand why this person feels this way. Um, but there are some quote unquote normal people out there and we come in contact with them every day. They're sprinkled in there with the perps um and so we just don't know and because of all the betrayals that most of us have encountered we a lot of times don't give people the benefit of the doubt um i had a really interesting encounter one day last week i went to the doctor and it was a new doctor for me and this guy was just so very pleasant and I truly do not feel like he was in on my targeting at all. Now, I am targeted by many doctors, 
okay and i don't go to the doctors a lot so i don't want to make it sound like that but the times who when i do go to the doctors um them and their staff do perp activity around me um but this guy was different he was very pleasant um he got straight to the point and it was just a great interaction with him now it is very common for me and my targeting to experience someone who is quote unquote normal and then the next encounter they would have turned okay i've experienced that many a time so i know how that goes you know they build up your trust and then they betray your trust but what i told myself is that i left there feeling so optimistic i was saying to myself wow i think i had a normal interaction with someone um because it just did not seem like he was in on my targeting at all so what i decided was the next time i go to see him whether he has been turned or not um i decided that i'm going to just act like everything's okay because i enjoyed that interaction with him he made me feel like i was any other patient of his um and like i said i really didn't feel like that man was targeting me at all so i'm going to choose to continue to have those normal interactions as long as he don't he does not cross any um uh, major boundaries with me then i'm going to choose to ignore any perp activity that he may you know do in the future and maybe he may never do any perp activity so what i'm what i'm what i'm saying is i'm going to try to have an open mind i'm going to try to give people the benefit of the doubt and i think that that's what we should do because they want us to feel like every single person is involved in our targeting and it's just not true it's really not but because it happens so much we feel that everybody is involved okay so what else does this person say they don't want anyone to be able to say they know us and vouch for us and say that we're a nice person yes they definitely assassinate our character um the way we can counteract that is not to buy into uh any of those uh things that they have tried to put on us if they're saying that you're uh mentally ill then don't go around acting mentally ill okay don't go around going off when you're triggered don't go around cussing people out you know people will see the real you the real you will shine through and they'll be able to see that whoever told them whatever lie about you just simply wasn't true because it's not matching up your character is not matching up with what with that villain that they tried to create okay all right they also don't want us to spread the word about targeting this is something the authorities want us to keep quiet it is true they definitely don't want that word to get out about what is happening to us but my question is is it working are you staying silent are you staying silent because you shouldn't we should not keep this quiet this is something i will not take to the grave with me i will make sure that people know that i'm targeted that i did nothing to deserve this that i am an innocent person and whatever they tried to lie and say i'm involved with and i just feel that everyone should make sure that uh your story is out there and it's up to you to put it out there you can i mean we have this whole internet going on now so you can do videos you can uh do blogs you can uh go on facebook or whatever other social media you can pass out flyers you can go to your local city hall it's so many ways you can get the word out you can write a book you can do whatever but some i feel that we all should make sure that people know what's happening with us and especially on a regular basis there's no bigger threat to them than exposure they don't want to be exposed so we definitely should expose them and then the last thing i want to say is when um this person said in the beginning that it's impossible to meet normal people because they control everything they don't control everything they want you to believe that they control everything so that you can buy into learned helplessness don't buy into it don't defeat yourself don't wake up saying nothing will work out for me 
nothing has worked out so far, so nothing's ever going to work out for me. Well, if you feel that way, then that's the way it's going to be. You have to put your best foot forward and you have to try. I was talking to someone today that that didn't even want to ask um, their boss or their former employer for a recommendation, a letter of recommendation, because they felt that it wouldn't work out anyway. So I'm saying, well, a closed mouth doesn't get fed. If you don't ask, you definitely won't get it. And the best, uh, the worst thing that could happen is that they say no. So that's learned helplessness. We don't even want to try anymore because so many things have not worked out. We don't even want to try. No, try. Try to do whatever it is you need to do in life. They do not control everything. Sure, they have a lot of people working in this satanic network with them. Yeah, they do. But none of them are greater than God. And I'm telling you, things can and they will work out. You must do your part. You must not give them all the power. They really, really, really rely on us handing them the power and handing them our whole life and just saying, oh, just forget it. I'm targeted. Everything is doom and gloom. Nothing's going to happen positive for me. No, it can and it will. You keep praying on it and you keep trying. Okay? Keep trying. Never, ever, ever give up, you guys. Never. Okay, so that's all I wanted to say about that. Um, I just thought that this was one that I could comment on and hopefully uh, encourage someone. So that's all I have to say. Uh, keep the questions coming and I will try to answer them. Thank you for listening, you guys. Please thumbs up this video. Leave your comments in the comment section. And hit that notification button or bell in the upper right-hand corner. Thank you.